Good morning, Marmy. It is Monday, December 27th. Welcome to the weird in-between days of the holidays. This is always like that strange time where you don't know if you should like get out of your PJs or do something or, you know, you don't even realize that some people in the world are actually like working right now. Um, like the people who work in retail and things like that, like they're working on these days. So it's a weird in between days of the holidays where I plan to do nothing, to be honest with you. But um, if you heard that beeping noise, that's one of our fire alarms, our, sorry, our smoke alarms. We've got these smoke alarms that are like, it just have to be replaced over a certain amount of time. You can't change battery. They're like hardwired and they don't have a battery backup. Like it's really like a poor, poor design. So I just ordered some new ones, which actually are the same type of hardwired alarm, but it does have a battery backup. So I think they last like five or 10 years or something. This thing's been chirping at me since we got back from my parents' house last night and Harper was like, I'm not disconnecting it because it's still working. Um, so you just have to sleep through that chirping noise and it was horrible. So I ordered them last night and he, he's just gone now to pick them up. Oh, there it goes. So he took a jeep with him because the jeep was just kind of walking around, didn't really have much to do. And I myself am pretty tired. And Joda and Kabir are here playing video games with their friends, but everyone's kind of taking it easy because Christmas night, Joda started feeling like he had a bit of a sore throat and he had some congestion. And so he had a really hard time sleeping that night at my parents' house. Um, and so I was up all night with him. And so we were exhausted. Um, and so I, I tested him on Christmas day. Um, and then the next morning, or like later, later on that night, the other two started sneezing and I was like, oh my God, right? So then I tested everyone um, the following day, like on the 26th, I tested everyone. We're all negative, of course. I was just, tr I'm trying to be cautious. We also haven't been around a positive COVID case or anything like that. So no one we know or that we've seen has, you know, tested positive for COVID, but we're just trying to be careful. Like this variant seems to be spreading like wildfire. And it seems like most people just have like a little bit of a sore throat and that's it. Um, which is why I think it's spreading so much because people are not even realizing that they're sick. So um, yeah, so I tested everyone, we're all negative. And so I thought like, just as a precaution, let's just lay low today, uh, get some rest, take it easy. I am exhausted today, but I've also been like momming through the holidays, which if you're a parent, you know, it's all the work through the holidays. So I'm taking it easy, going easy myself. I'm using my new mug. This is a gift from Lily Christmas. I told her I want a central perk mug. She surely delivered it. It's a huge mug. I made myself a cup of tea in it. I know you're probably thinking, who are you? How are you having tea? But sometimes I start my day with coffee and then follow up with a tea. But I mean, it's like one o'clock or something. No, it's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. I have no idea where the time's going. I'm gonna sit down, relax, read a book. Um, I'm currently reading The Secret Keeper of Japper. This, I actually got this from the library and you know, you get to borrow them for three weeks at a time. I think after three weeks, I was on page 50 because I commit too much of my time to watching TV and not actually reading. So I'm trying to read more. So what else are we gonna be doing in this vlog? So Harper is on a little bit of a major organizing trip, which is weird. For him so i'm just gonna like ride this out with him he um fixed the towel rack in the bathroom that broke like three weeks ago but he's saying it's just loose and we should just get a new one and so now i was trying to look at the kind i want and guys did you know bathroom fixtures are so expensive i knew this when i was looking at them i'm like can't you just use the one we have because honestly it's fine there's nothing wrong with it um and he's like well if you do want to change it maybe look at what you want to get and i'm like the ones i'm looking at it's like the towel rack the toilet paper holder and like one of those little round small towel holder things for like three four hundred dollars i was like well, I guess I just have expensive taste. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna get him to leave it. So yesterday he organized this cabinet. Oh yes, it is decently organized. So he organized this and he was like, get rid of all the stuff. He threw out a bunch of stuff. This counter was like full of stuff. I mean, it still has stuff that shouldn't be here, but I mean, it's significantly better. These hooks are not big enough. They're huge jackets and snow pants now. So this little thing that we were using for all this time isn't doing his job. These drawers here, Jora Kabir each have a drawer and then there's um, a basket underneath for Jeet. There's a basket for us and then there's an extra basket and still are like winter accessories, gloves, hat, whatever are falling out of it. We have a big box of disposable masks there, that big cardboard box. This is just a dumping ground. Harvey put all this hockey equipment because he now is a hockey player. I don't know what's happening. And um, we've got kids Halloween costumes. Like we've got so much stuff here, hockey gear. Like, and we've got a bunch of shoes that we don't use on the regular that are out here that need to be switched into this closet. And let me tell you what, tell you why he gets so irritated by this mess. I keep saying we need some kind of cubby situation, which is what I want. And he's like, we have this ginormous two door closet here, which is empty and available to use and just got junk in it. He's like, you need to clear this out so we can use it. He's not wrong. Like, look at this. <laughs> it's like full of stuff. And like half these shoes, I think are small in the kids. So I need to pull all this stuff out. Maybe this rack needs to go outside for the shoes or I don't know, like put their shoes they don't use that often. Like that was always the plan. Keep their shoes that they don't use often and put them here. The problem is now they have an indoor shoe pair of shoes, outdoor pair of shoes from school that they brought home. Plus they got their winter boots. So each kid has three pairs of shoes. Also Harper and I have at least a pair of running shoes and a pair of boots. So like that's a lot of shoes to fit on that small rack. So I might have to like bust out this rack, which... We'll see. Maybe I'll bust this rack out or buy some kind of like cubby something. I, I am hanging stuff here, but like their jackets and snow pants that they wear all the time need to be on those hooks. I feel like we should be using this thing for 
maybe backpacks only. And so we can put them one space apart so they have enough space. And then we should have like maybe a different rack or hooks or something where they could put their hat, they can put their jackets and snow pants because they're too bulky to fit on here with their backpack. So basically we just have too many things. So, and I mean, we live in a big house. It seems like we can't find space for things. It's just because our stuff is poorly organized. It's not that we don't have the space. So all these old shoes, dress shoes, boxes, masks, like they all just need to go. Like I can't, I can't, I can't. It's bothering me. It gives me anxiety to even be here. So because my goal was to be resting today, I'm going back on the sofa, but I will tackle this at some point because this is not okay. Like that mess right there is not going to go past the holidays. Mark my words. Walk back in here. I'm like, why is Hudson underneath the dining room table? And of course he's under the dining room table because he has something. And I'm trying to figure out what does he have? What does my beautiful dog have? Of course I took off my hair tie and now he took it and he wants to run with it. My hair was in a big, huge mess. So I took the hair tie off and he's like, let me take this and run. Hello Hudson. Can you drop it? Hudson, drop it. He's like, I don't care what you say. Drop it. I'm gonna have to get treats. Hudson, drop it. Oh, you okay? Careful. Hudson, drop it. Hudson, look, treat. This guy's like, what are you gonna give me for it? Here you go, Hudson. Now, am I supposed to put this in my hair now? It's all dog slobbery. Hudson. Give it a testing out. One of his Christmas gifts. He's like a pro. Oh, I jinxed you. What's your highest score? 74. In a minute? Up, it goes up by twos, yeah. In one minute? And then with the last 15, sec 15 seconds, we both did three pointers. Really? So in one minute, you got 74? Good job. Beatty. What? What are you watching? Something. What? Something. What? We're all having a lazy day. I want to see your sculptures after. Harbreed's back with the fire alarms. He's tested them out and they're very loud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ajit, you're back. Can we show everyone your new official style, your new official look? Get up. Hi. What is it you wear when you go out anywhere? Can you show everyone? Sheriff Jeets. So Ajit wore this out to the store and he's saying that he's gonna wear it everywhere forever. Is that true, Ajit? Yes. Yeah, so now you're gonna be Sheriff Ajit forever? Let's see, Sheriff Ajit. Look at me. Looks good, Sheriff Jeets. Yes. I love it. Are you feeling tired? Yeah. I'm pretty tired, bro. Look at Hudson. Hudson's like, let's cuddle. Let's sleep on the sofa. Yes. No such thing as personal space when you got a doggy. So we decided to finally put the leaf into this table since it was there. And we look, never look did how clean it. it is. Yeah, so this is like perfect because it's untouched by children. And look at the rest of the table. So now we have to use like a. This is how it used to look, guys. This is how it used to look when we got it. Mama. Back in the early days Mama. of the vlogging. Mama? Yes, okay. Yes. Um, okay. Do you think we should scratch this one so it would match this? Sorry? Do you think we should scratch this one so it would match this? No, no scratching anything. No scratching anything. We're going to leave it like. We're going to tablecloths. Some homemade pizza going down for dinner. Harper's making some specialty toppings for ours. Roasting up some mushrooms to put on. We extended the table. So this is what it looks like. So it's quite big, actually. Now I'm saying it looks like a little bit cramped. It's quite small. Really, Kabir? Is it smaller than it was before or bigger? It's smaller than the dining room table. Yeah, it's smaller than the dining room table. But it's good. It's a good size. The dining room table is gigantic. Yeah, the dining room table is gigantic. But we sit here on the, on the daily. Check out this pizza by Harper. He put like that Beyond Meat veggie ground on it. And actually we haven't been able to find the veggie ground anywhere. So this is actually crumbled up Beyond Meat burgers. My mom made this um, as part of Christmas. So it's like a ground veggie meat or whatever. Um, and we used it on pizza there. And so we, she had some leftover she gave to us. And so we put it on this pizza too. It was so yummy. Watching a boy named Christmas eating pizza. That's some sleeping. It's a whole vibe. I see you. It's a whole vibe. I see you. I'm not trying to hide, bro. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I feel like crap. Such is life right now. We're sick in a pandemic is what it is. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, but like I did all the, the testing or whatever. We're all negative. We just apparently you still get sick when you're like staying away from people, but whatever. Um, I had something like funny to share. Well, not so funny to me, but yesterday I was talking to my friend and I mentioned to her that how the secret keeper of Jabber, like I like it. I'm like, it's good, but there's so many characters. And she's like, well, did you read the henna artist first? Which and I'm like, no. So apparently there's a book before this and that one tells the story of some of these characters previously. And it's like, well, did I have to read that first? Apparently she found it hilarious that I just picked this up and started reading it. I saw it at the library, I picked it up. I didn't know I had to read another part first. I'm now 150 pages in. And I'm like, I'm gonna pull my bookmark out of this because now I feel like I've wasted my life. This is what I get for reading. So I had also picked up another book. This one is called The Newcomer. So it's like, I think I'm gonna stick with reading this one and try this one um, because I need to read something. I can't just watch TV all day. Jesus, should we read a book? Yeah. We should. Here we have a Jeet who's doing something sneaky. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Do you have a wrench? No, what is this? Pliers? Why do you have pliers? We'll fix it and stop it. I'm going to make a time machine out of a car. You're going to make a time machine out of a car? Yes, I'm going to do that. You got it. Okay, please, yeah. you please be careful with that. Oh my god, never a dull moment this way. Okay, come on, come on. Okay. okay, put it away. I'm so thankful for all the kids' like Christmas gifts because they've got all the stuff to build and stuff and they're actually doing it. And because we're not feeling great, I was like, let's just stay home, guys. Kabir's got a sculpting kit, uh, new books. One more thing. thing. What? E, um, a bowl of lightning, but there's no plutonium in 1951. Oh, there's no plutonium. Oh, yes. We need to watch Back to the Future. That's what we're talking about, right? Maybe we should have a Back to the Future movie yeah. marathon. God knows we're doing anything else. We may as well. Yes, yes. Um, maybe later. Show me the lightning bolt. And as you can see, they have lots of other things sitting here. And we have lots of chocolate also. The neighbors dropped off. I just shared on Instagram that only about 50% of them know that my job involves me being like an idiot on the internet. You want to see the electric? I'm going to play. Um, you want to come? Okay, we can play Back to the Future after. Have your Back to the Future card. It's so early for this and I don't feel well, so... I'm going to the sofa. It's gonna be a screen day. I'm gonna wrap this vlog here, guys. This is not how I expected a December vlog to go. This is not how I expected my post-Christmas vlog to go. But in the interest of keeping it real, let's end it off here. And I hope that you guys see an amazing vlog from me on Monday. It'll be the New Year's vlog, so stay tuned for that. Once I, you know, upload this video, I'm gonna take some time to, you know, rest for a couple of days and maybe go, maybe go silent on, on social for a few days. I mean, I say that, but I love it too much. So I hope you guys, I'm not gonna say I had fun joining us because obviously we're, we're struggling here, but <laughs> I'm gonna say thank you guys for being here. And as always, I hope you enjoyed spending time with us. And if you did join us again next time, if you enjoy our vlogs and videos, subscribe to the channel and stay a while. Join the Marmy. March on Marmy.